pleasing really. Um, obviously we made the changes. I thought I thought we tried to play. I think sometimes a final ball let us down a little bit, but you know we tried to do things right. We, we tried to do what we talked about. I think you know we, we give the competition the respect it deserves because I think the lads worked worked hard, um, and I think we scored three fantastic goals. So overall, we didn't want any cautions and we didn't want any injuries, but you know we picked up. Only two courses and one injury, which is which is more disappointing than anything else, really. But you know that, that, that's another game. It's another game of one, and that you know takes in the sleep of game mostly Tuesday. How serious is the injury to Pat Vexfield? I think he'll, I think he'll miss Tuesday, and then we we'll have to assess him out of that. I think he, he's, he's had a niggly ankle problem for early on in the season, which then got better. He went and see the physio this week, and he said that um, that was fine. And obviously he's blocked the cross, and you know it's just gone a little bit, but. You know, if he's not there Tuesday, hopefully he'll be there, you know, ready to play Saturday. Yeah. Do you see um, do you see the League Cup as a hindrance to your season, or is it more of a, another morale boost ahead of next week? I, I mean, that's hard, that's hard to say. Obviously, you don't know how you're going to go in the FA Cup next week, and you don't know how well you're going to go in the FA Vars. And, you know, we've, we've, we've got some good minutes into players that needed it today, and we've got some good rest into players that needed it today. So... You know, we're drawn at home the next round, so it's not the biggest hindrance is obviously playing on a Saturday when we want to be playing league games. You know, why the UCL play their cup on a Saturday? I've never known it before, and that that do that hindered us last year, and we don't want it to happen this year. And but obviously the reserves had a big game today over at UEA, so you know we couldn't send our players over there and give them a, a run out here. So. You know, that's, that's something we'll have to look at. I think our secretary's speaking to the UCL this week to see if we can sort of play our games midweek. Cause that's crazy when we ain't got a game on a Tuesday, but then we have to give up the league game and play a cup game on a Saturday. Mm. Did, um, I mean, positives for you down on the pitch, plan-wise? I think, I think trying to do it, I thought Danny Beaumont looked razor sharp. I know he didn't score today, I thought he looked sharp. I thought some of the, some of the passing play was, you know, very good, but for me... You know, when we didn't have the ball, we still looked, tried to work hard to get the ball back. So, you know, we we didn't, you know, like we didn't reach the levels of Tuesday night, obviously, but we we kept we kept the work ethic going. We kept trying to pass the ball, and and really, we, you know, we done done what we set out to do, which was win the football match. You know, comfortable, really comfortable. And it'd be unfair to to say we didn't, you know, get out of sort of fourth gear. But you know, we I think we had a gear or two left. I think that showed when we made the substitutions that we stepped up a gear. So yeah. you know, we're pleased. We're happy that we won the match. Thought Howes did well. I mean, yeah, he, Matty uh, made some great saves. Yeah, Matty like Matty done Matty played really well. He made some good saves. And I thought Nelson looked a handful again. Just. We spoke to him at half time. Well, I spoke to him at half time about his decision making. Obviously, sometimes he shoot when he should pass, and other times he pass when he should shoot. But I mean, the lad's a handful. He's got pace to burn, and when you got him and Beaumont and Spriggs and people like that attacking for you, are always going to have a chance of hurting teams. And today, I thought I thought we hurt Kempstead, and, and they've come and tried to play. So, you know, you know, that's, that's, that's another game out the way. It's another game in one, and we ain't got a major injury, and we didn't get no red cards. So, overall, we're reasonably happy. Okay, and just the plan front, obviously I know you're after two targets. Yeah. How confident are you of, of bringing these people in? I mean, one, I'll, I'll be honest with you, one of them's uh, sort of, hopefully that'll be done in the middle of this week, a uh, player. And the other one's a little bit of a long shot, really, because he plays at a lot higher level, but at the moment he's, he ain't got a club, so I know he's looking to get back into conference or football league, but if we could... You know, get him here for for a while, and he could he could get some football, and he could help us. He'd, he'd be a massive help experience-wise. He's played championship football. He's played at sort of over ten league clubs. So at 32 years old, so if we could get him in here, just you know, just for a, you know, help each other out really, because we're we're obviously a couple of players down for obvious reasons, and you know, with the injury today, we we only had three subs today, outfield players. So. Hopefully we can get one in and then possibly a, a bit of a long shot, hopefully, but we're working on it. Are they both midfielders? No, one of them is midfielder. One of them is midfielder. One of them is midfielder, yeah. Okay. Fine. And when, we, when should you know about the uh, the one who's played, obviously, in the championship? End, end of next week. End okay. of next week. So I've, I've made contact with him and hopefully, hopefully you know, I've had a chat with him. And if he ain't got nothing sort of sorted out, he, he, like I say, he's looking to get back in the conference. He's already played in the conference this season. This season? Yeah, right. so, you know, a step forward is a big drop for him, but, you know, we ain't got, we ain't got conference money. That, he'd be coming to sort of, obviously, you know, for a month or whatever to get fit and, you know, hopefully help us out in the time we were a little he's, bit short of He's place. not cup tied then, though. 
No. 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 Okay. And would he? I mean, do you think it'd be a big, big asset to the club as well? I think it'd be. I think it'd be a good, a good asset to the club. Yeah. I mean, oh. like I say, that's 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 a bit. That's a long shot, but that's something that's that's cropped up, and you know, I'm looking at it. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very much.